Today we are building a super cute gaming PC for my friend's girlfriend. Yeah, my friend is getting a custom gaming PC for his girlfriend so they can play games together. We're doing an all white gaming PC in the Snow White Y60 with a whole bunch of super cute parts, including the Kraken 280 Elite RGB. We're also using the white ASUS Tough Gaming 4070 Ti card. He also got a whole bunch of really cute figures to put in the PC. So we're gonna completely deck this out in Miffy and Snoopy. I'm just really excited to see where this build goes. So let's get into it. Here are all the PC parts featuring my dog Teddy in his favorite position under my build desk. In total, the parts list for this comes out to about $2,300, but my friend was able to score this ASUS Z790 Prime motherboard for $100 on Facebook Marketplace, supposedly brand new, but I was honestly really worried about whether it would turn on or not. And we're pairing this with the Intel Core i5-13600K CPU. Honestly, if you ask me, this PC build is going to be a bit of overkill for what they're going to be using it for. I think my friend and his girlfriend are planning to play Power World and a couple other games at 1080p, and this PC will We'll definitely handle that and more but he wanted to spoil her so i think maybe for the next holiday he should get her like a 1440p 240 hertz monitor for the ram we went with the corsair vengeance 32 gigabyte ddr5 set in white and then for the ssd this motherboard has standoffs that you have to screw on before you put those in but there's a total of two terabytes of storage this asus prime motherboard doesn't have heat sinks for the ssds so if you want to buy an ssd with a heat sink that's ideal my friend also splurged and got the kraken 280 elite rgb which has the full LCD screen. So before we put the motherboard into the case, we're gonna go ahead and attach that bracket for the cooler. The case we're using today is the Hyatt Y60 in Snow White. Honestly, I wish the glass wasn't tinted dark because I feel like it would just look a lot better, but this case is so beautiful. In the back of the case, it has a cardboard box with all of the screws that you'll need to connect the motherboard into the case. This motherboard does not have an IO shield on it, so don't forget to slot that in. And y'all, my friend literally brought this to me like a day before Valentine's Day, so I did not have that much time to build this, so I'm using my electric screwdriver. This one is a lot fatter than the electric screwdriver I used to use, but it actually has enough torque to even screw in case fans and stuff, so it's super convenient. Micro Center did not have the NZXT fans in 120 millimeters, so he actually picked up six Corsair fans so that everything would match in the build. The NZXT cooler comes with these long screws that we'll use to screw these fans onto the radiator, and then I'm putting this in the side little cubby for the AIO. If you have like an i9 or an i7 CPU, you can also get a 360 millimeter AIO and mount that in the top which is technically the ideal position. And everyone keeps asking me if I'm forgetting to put on thermal paste, but these Kraken coolers have pre-applied paste, so you don't have to worry about that. Although if you do prefer, you can also buy your own thermal paste and apply it. I'm also replacing that back fan with a Corsair fan just so everything will match because the height fans don't have RGB and they're black. I'm adding three 120 millimeter Corsair fans to exhaust from the top of the case. And here you can see that little cubby that your radiator would sit in if you had a 360 millimeter. We're using this MSI 750 watt power supply. This has been my go-to lately because it's pretty affordable and it also has a PCIe Gen 5 connector for your GPU so you don't have to use those pesky adapters. Now we're in the home stretch, all we have to do is cable management, so just connecting those front panel connectors to the motherboard. Honestly, in hindsight, I would try to do this before installing the top fans because it does make it a little bit harder to connect like the CPU power cables in the top once the fans are connected. I'm using white cable extensions because it just looks so much cleaner, but to be honest, the only cables that are visible are that fat motherboard cable because you can't really see the CPU cable and the GPU is vertically connected so that power connector gets pretty much hidden. ASUS finally launched their Tough Gaming card in white so this is the white Tough Gaming 4070 Ti. It is so gorgeous and honestly it's just really great to see another option for white cards from ASUS if you don't want to dish out the money for the Strix card. And with that the build portion of this is done but my friend brought a ton of decorations and figurines so I want to figure out how to make this PC as aesthetic as possible for his girlfriend. She's a huge fan of Miffy so he got this cute little Miffy light as well as a whole bunch of Snoopy figurines. If you're placing figures in your PC, you gotta make sure you're placing them on parts that aren't getting super hot. So for example, if your GPU is slotted normally and you wanna put stuff on the back of it, just know that the back of your GPU could get really hot and your figure could melt. That's why I have the Snoopy on the PCIe riser because that part actually doesn't get hot at all. I got this super cute string light with pearls on it that I thought would look really cool on the AIO. This isn't something I've ever tried before, but I think it came out looking really cool and you can just cut the excess off. For stuff like this, just make sure you're not wrapping anything very tight around the AIO tubes because that could cause problems. And definitely make sure that nothing can get caught in the fans when you turn things on because that could end very badly. Okay, here's everyone's favorite part.
My friend also ordered these Peeker stickers from Ajala's online store. So he got a Snoopy one and a Miffy one that we put on the front glass panel. And my CPU power cable was a little bit too close to the top fan, so that's why it had a really ugly sound. But I ended up zip tying that so it wouldn't touch the fan and that solved the problem. And here's the final build. We got windows installed and ran some benchmarks just to make sure everything was running smoothly. And then I also downloaded Cam so we could put a custom GIF on that Kraken cooler for her. I've been obsessed with tying ribbons on AIOs lately because I think it looks super adorable and the blue ties in so well with the Miffy figures. And there's the other Peeker sticker. My PC builds have typically been pretty minimalist like no figures or anything but i'm honestly in love with how some people really decorate their pcs so this was really the first time i've tried that and i'm pretty in love with how it came out i had such a fun time building this and i really hope my friend's girlfriend likes it too let me know what you guys think in the comments and definitely subscribe if you want to see more aesthetic pc builds thanks guys